Number 18. In the sum a plus b equals to c, vector a has a magnitude of 12 meters and is angled 40 degrees counterclockwise from the x direction. So the vector a over here, let's draw our x and y plane. So this is x and this is y. The vector a is something like this. This is vector a over here which makes 40 degrees and the magnitude of the vector is equal to 12 meters so vector c has a magnitude of 15 and it is angled 20 degrees counterclockwise from the minus x direction so it is something like this and this is 20 de degrees uh, and its magnitude is 15 meters and so this is vector c over here what are the magnitude and the angle re relative to plus x of the vector b so what we are going to do here we're going to write in unit vector notation vector a and vector c so vector a is the magnitude of vector a times the cosine of the angle in the i direction plus the magnitude of the vector times the sine of the angle in the j direction and this is the, the, the magnitude of the vector is 12 of course and if you do this calculation over here you would find Mm, you would find uh, 9.19 in the i direction plus 7.71 in, in the j direction and everything is in meters here for the vector c we cannot well we, we could use this angle over here 20 degrees so but you would have to change the sign of the components or you can just use this angle over here which is 200 degrees and we will use 200 degrees so we can find the components of vector c so vector c is the magnitude of the vector times cosine of 200 in the i direction plus the magnitude of the vector times the sine of 200 degrees in the i direction and this is equal to minus 14.1 in the i direction minus 5.13 in the j direction and everything is, is in meters over here so now we can find vector b how we do that so vector a plus vector b is equal to vector c so vector b is equal to vector c minus vector a and this is equal to minus 14.1 minus 9.19 in the i direction plus minus 5.13 minus 7.71 in, in the j direction and this is equal to minus 23.3 in the i direction minus 12 Point eight in the, in the j direction and everything is, is in meters so we, now we have vector b and the magnitude of the vector b is the square root of each component squared so it would be 23.3 squared plus 12.8 squared and this gives us 26.6 meters and now we want we want to find the, the angle 
so we can draw the vector c is something like this because all components are negative so we want to find this angle over here and how we do that so the angle is the inverse function of tangent or arc tangent of the y component minus 12.8 over minus 23.3 .3. and this gives us two different angles it gives us 28.9 degrees or uh, uh, 209 degrees roughly right so those are the two possible answers and then you have to to find which quadrant your vector is so this is the first quadrant this is the second one this is the third one so each in which quadrant is vector b is of course it is in the third quadrant and 28.9 degrees is in the first quadrant and 209 is in the third quadrant so the correct answer is 209 degrees.